We start with this tweet. With all respect towards Chesscom and amount of work they put into promoting chess, Pog, hashtag PogChamps3 as a popcorn stuff is replacing and displacing any real chess content, and this is just terrifying. All right, so I've already made my comments very clear in general terms about um, about what I think about this. I think, first of all, uh, he's. I think it's just a terrible take. Um, there are no major chess tournaments going on right now. Um, and secondly, I would say with this online boom, there are actually a lot of online tournaments. Like this Champions Tour, the way that it's taken off and you have all these events with top players going on every month, probably i'm not saying never happens but very unlikely that it that it that it would be happening if not for that that is also a source you guys um for yan to uh, make more money as a professional chess player too so uh to me i think it's just it's just a bad take i've already said what i think um but anyway let's keep going what do we have we have sardoch who says me playing chess 15 hours a day to blunder a queen and get told i play kid chess all right um poor sardoch Poor Sardosh. Anyway, okay, so let's keep going. There was apparently a tweet by Magnus. Let's find this. Magnus Carlson. Okay, what was Magnus's tweet? There was also, there was then this next part of the tweet, which is from Magnus Carlson. I do think the event is doing a great job in bringing chess to more people. Oh, let me pause. I don't know why it's playing. Um, first of all, big shout out to Magnus. We do know for a fact that Magnus made this tweet because he he misspelled bringing. He put bringing. Uh, so obviously it was like, I don't know if it was on, on a keyboard or on his phone, but we do know for a fact that this, this was a reply by Magnus. Um, I do think the event is doing a great job in bringing chess to more people. I'd never soup as low as to watch it myself, though. If I did watch, I'd probably be rooting for Ludwig. All right, so so pretty good reply, pretty good tweet by Magnus. Um, uh, before we get to the reply, which we will get to very shortly, let's pull up Levon. There was also a tweet by Levon um, in, in reply to, I think, Jan. There, there were two tweets. So this is the first one. Uh, Recent discussions over chess pros versus chess entertainment reminds me of the classical music opera scene nowadays, where partial nudity or excessive attention to dec decorations brings new fans, but loses some of the conservative fans. I personally believe that... Um, that due to the complexity of our game, there is a great need of entertainment and such events serve as a fun entry point to chess for everyone. Respect to Hikaru, Magnus, Anish Giri, and other chess pros who make our game accessible and being a part of both worlds. Okay, so so it's pretty amazing uh, to see Levon's reply. Levon is not someone who's very active on social media. Uh, he doesn't really tweet that much. So, so to see see Levon tweet even saying how important it is that you you're, you try to bring it to the masses, really, really, uh, it really it really says a lot. Um, because Levon is just like he just does not tweet. He's not a social media kind of guy. And the fact that he the fact that he put out a tweet here um, and and what he says, I actually 100% agree with it. Um, is very very worthwhile. All right, so. Uh, let's go back to the Magnus tweet now, because there was a um, there was there there was a reply to Magnus' tweet. Let's pull this up. So now we'll go back to Magnus' tweet, and there is a reply here. There's a, this this reply from none other than, of course, XQC, the one and only. If you stoop that low and actually watch my superior gameplay, maybe you wouldn't be losing all your recent games. Now there are two things that I would say. The first thing that's incredible about this is that when Magnus makes this tweet um, about the event, he very clearly is showing that he's following the event. Even if he's not following the chess closely, you can tell that he knew, knows who the participants are and he's keeping an eye on the event. So that's the first thing that's incredible. The fact that Magnus, the world champion, is following this event. Second part in terms of XQC's tweet is that the fact that XUC knows who Magnus is, let alone the fact that he says maybe you wouldn't be, be losing all your recent games, shows that XQC not only is an in, in, into chess, but he's actually watching the the top level events, whether he's like doing it on his main account or he's just he's just lurking. It's very clear that XQC is actually following the top events. So the fact that XQC, um, the biggest streamer on Twitch, is following high level chess tournaments in his spare time um, shows how, how amazing the game of chess is and how interested he is in it. And then in terms of Magnus, the fact that Magnus is watching an event like PogChamps, it just shows the whole sort of, uh, the whole scene and the way that all these different people are getting into the game. So um, uh, really, really, really amazing stuff. All right, so let's keep going. There's also apparently, um, oh, what is this tweet? No, 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 this is this is not good. That's 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 no good, dude. That's, that's no good, TZN, that's just no good. All right, um, let's keep going. We have this tweet now. Okay, we have another tweet from Jan here, which is, um, thanks, th thanks for thanks for the dialogue and the passion, everyone. To clarify a little, I'm obviously happy more and more people are getting involved in chess. 
Although I'm not the biggest fan of PogChamps, the show is easy and fun to watch, and indeed it serves the aforementioned purpose. Okay, um, so let's keep going. Let's pop this up then. Uh, mitigating Manny. <laughs> I think Magnus was joking. Magnus was being sarcastic, and then I think XUC played it up the exact same way. Um, mitigating Manny. I like that one. Okay. What 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 are uh, what are my concerns? Indis what are my concerns? Indisputable indisputable success of chess.com pog champs might set a new standard of chess show, and I can't be sure it won't prevail over other formats. And yes, I actually contributed there a little by coaching session with Hafu. Peace for everyone. Um, very strange, very very strange. Um, now I, I've said it many times, and I can say it again. Um, which is that if you say it's a new standard of chess shows, the reality there there's some very basic realities to chess, and, and I, I can say this because I mean it's it's very true. Um, the first the first most obvious the first most obvious point um, uh, that that I would say is uh, is that. Chess is very hard to get good at. It's a game that's very easy to learn. The rules are very simplistic. Getting good at chess, especially getting to Grandmaster, takes a lifetime of work. There have been comparisons saying that becoming a Grandmaster at the game of chess is like uh, is like is like earning two PhDs and you know going to school and getting two PhDs. So, um, I think the majority of chess players are not going to be Grandmasters. The vast majority of people who play chess. Um, and so trying to make it popular in a way that people can relate to and understand is really, really important. Um, so let's keep going. What is this? We have a reply from Daniel Gormali. Computers are destroying chess anyway. PogChamps is the last throws. Well, that's a mighty happy take on the game of chess from Mr. Daniel Gormali um, from, from the great country of, of England. Uh, I mean, that's a mighty fine take. Uh, chess, actually, I would say, is, is, has never been doing better in many ways outside of at the very top level where computers are making it harder and harder to have decisive games. Um, so that's, that's, that's what I would say is, I mean, it's, I understand kind of what he's coming, where he's coming from, but I don't really, I don't really agree, agree with it. And it feels, to me, it feels a lot like it's trying to like mitigate the damage. It, it does feel like trying to be a mitigating Manny, um, if I'm being honest. So let's keep going. We have another tweet. What is this one? Um, this is a tweet from Dennis. Ludwig and Magnus versus XQC and Hikaru. Hand and brain one. <laughs> okay, this is... um Wow. This is uh, amazing. L Ludwig and Magnus versus XQC and Hikaru. Hand and brain. That is absolutely hilarious. That is like the craziest thing I've ever seen. Um... I, I don't. I don't even know what I'm supposed to say to this. I mean, I totally would be game for that if if uh, if if Ludwig. I mean, it's actually it's not even about XUC myself or Ludwig. It's about Magnus. But I'm sure the the other three of us, 100%, we would do it in five seconds. Um, but <laughs> that's just <laughs> 200k viewers easy, probably. Yeah, probably. I, I think that would be uh, that would be really really insane. I have to carry. I don't know. I don't even know. I think if they get to the middle game, XUC is maybe better than Ludwig, but. Again, like the thing is that uh, the, the Ludwig Ludwig's opening is really really solid. So what is this? We have we have more. What is this? What is this? We have uh, mogul moves, mogul moves Magnus, mogul moves. <laughs> okay, everyone is having fun. It seems like um, uh, yeah Ludwig. Oh, there's even a reply from Jack Septicon, my chess player. Nice, very very nice. What to say? X XUC's reply was the best. Yeah, uh, Magnus is with Chess Twenty Four. Uh, he played it. He played in Speed Chess Championship on Chess.com, so that would never be an issue. Um, but that's pretty funny. Funny from uh, from from Ludwig. Mogul moves. Mogul moves for the win. Um, wow, crazy. But I would say again, I think it's really important to note that at the end of the day, it is bringing more people into chess, and that is what you want. You want more people in chess. You want more interest in the game, and it sort of it goes across the board. It, there, there, there are so many streamers who are do, who are doing well now from chess. Um, I'll give you another example. Let me let me see if I can pull this up as well. But, um, you know, there's so, so many streamers who are streaming chess who are who are making making a living from it, and um, even even beyond this, like uh, like for example, there 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 was this tweet from another chess streamer, James Canty the Third. Now he's not he's not one of the biggest chess streamers. Um, he's certainly on the smaller side, but even even in the case of someone like James Canty, because of this whole chess boom, he's been able to um, 
He's 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 actually been signed. I mean, he says he's been signed by an esports team. It hasn't been released. But the fact that even someone like this, um, they're 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 able to make a living. They're they're being signed by esports teams. It speaks to speaks to how broad broad based um, this whole boom is, and how many people are doing well because of it. So someone like this, I mean, someone who's a master player. I mean, someone who's not a top level elite chess player is making a living. Um, from streaming chess and they're signed with an esports organization. I don't mean that in like a, a negative way. So please don't, don't, don't be weird. Um, is chess really an esports? Um, I mean, I think it definitely can be in terms of online, online events. Now we're going to, we're going to segue from this into something else, uh, as well, very shortly regarding whether chess is an esport or not. I have an article, um, to pull up. So give me one second and let me find that. Um, give me one second. There's a Geary tweet whoops ah whoops let me minimize oh good it didn't show my dms didn't show whoops i almost accidentally leaked my dms um but before we do that we have a poll which is do you watch pog champs and tata steel only serious chess like tata only pog champs 1962 just resubbed for three months so let's see Nakamura, one second Bu Nakamura, Murph. so the real question is i mean a lot of people are trying to say that people who watch pog champs do not watch serious chess um so let's see what the poll is because I actually think people watch both. So right now, what is it? 69% say PogChamps and Tata. 4% say only serious chess like Tata. 27% say only PogChamps. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Only serious chess like Tata. With, with, a, with a whopping 4%. I wouldn't have watched Tata without PogChamps 1. True. Um, let's see. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wait till the end of the poll before we, we read the on each tweet. Um, only four percent of chat getting banned. No, I mean of course not. I'm I'm not I'm not an elitist. Why would I ban people? That would be insane. Completely insane. So yeah, okay. Let's let's see where where's the poll ending? Um, where are we at? Sixty eight percent say Pog Champs and Tata. Um, let's see. Only serious chess. Ten percent say only serious chess. I think a lot of people are actually intentionally clicking only o clicking only serious chess now to, to troll. Um, but nonetheless, the vast majority of people clearly Pog Champs uh, and Tata. Pog Champs is wild and overrated. Well, I mean the point is there's a, there's a lot of drama, a lot of drama. Tata Steel is a Tata Steel is an Indian steel company. Um, check Levon's Twitter. I saw but we we already went over both of Levon's tweets uh, earlier. Let's see. Okay, we have like one minute left on this poll. Let's see where it's going. Okay, so thank you, ZT Rod, for the Prime, Tiny Man for the Prime as well. Appreciate it. Mr. Nick Cage just subscribed. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, still 60%. Yeah, now you guys are trolling because it just spiked hard. It spiked so hard here. <laughs> yeah, it just spiked. Okay, let's see. Um, let's see. We're almost done with the poll. Levy and Anna tweet. I I, I think I saw uh, I saw Anna's tweet as well. But let's let's see. What are what are the final results? Move on. Okay. So so Pog Champ, So most people watch Pog Champs and Tata still. It's pretty clear um, as well. Uh, but let's let's keep going with uh, two more two more tweets. What, what's this tweet? Okay. Anish Giri. I was I was I was always skeptical about the world in which chess is an esport. But in that world, MC gets trolled by XQC for not winning enough games. Then count me in. And then he puts a smile and he says, hashtag PogChamps3. And then, of course, we have Levy with uh, <laughs> Levy with the classic reply. <laughs> Levy with the classic reply. Oh, dear. Um, that's a good one. All right. And then, then what do we have here? We have this, this tweet as well. What is this? Okay. Seriously, it is great to hear this from Levon because very few top players are actively communicating with chess fans. Just think, we hear from maybe 10 of them consistently. Difficult to grow like that. And then he says, puts a smiley face here. Um, so it's a pretty reasonable tweet here from Levy as well. Um, I, I actually, yeah, I, I agree with that. The fact that you have this interaction now occurring um, is, is something that's very, very different. Uh, from the past so it, it does it does make a difference uh, for sure and I think in general anything anything that brings chess to a bigger audience anything um, where people can get into the game understand it uh, is, is always going to be helpful for growing the game without a doubt 